Hi everyone, Joe Ordia here for Solar Surge, and today we're coming to you from the RE Plus Southeast Regional Solar Conference in Atlanta, Georgia. And this afternoon I'm joined by Mark Abrams from SPAN.io. Great to be here, Joe. Thank you. And we're looking at the SPAN Intelligent uh, Smart Panel. So Mark, thanks for joining us. Uh, tell us about the SPAN panel. Well, I'm super excited to talk about SPAN, so I hope you've got a lot of time today, Joe. <laughs> We're really excited, Joe, because now that COVID's winding down, we're able to get out and talk a lot and be at shows like this and really show our panel. You know, SPAN is the world's first true smart panel, and we're, we're going to market in all kinds of great applications. We're seeing interest from new home construction, we're seeing solar plus storage contractors using us, pairing us with batteries, putting us in main panel upgrades, doing it just because people are excited to get all the deep insights they get on energy with SPAN, and now coming soon with electric car charging, uh, we're able to do even more things with the panel. So the panel's been very successful this year, and a lot of it is because of the features that we can handle. At, at surface, it looks just like a beautiful panel. It's like an appliance for your home. It's no longer that dingy, dirty, dusty panel in the corner of your garage. Uh, you gotta get a flashlight to flip the broken breaker. It's something people are excited to have in their house, not just because it looks good, it's got that, that nice feel to it, um, but because they know they have much deeper insight to their energy and what's going on in their home. And so we're really empowering homeowners to understand their energy usage, to, to change their behaviors, to get deep insight, and then to tie it to things like solar and batteries, it's a great combination and provides a much richer solution for that. Excellent. Now we're really excited about this as well. Um, now for those that haven't been following SPAN or haven't, or maybe haven't never seen a smart panel, tell us what, what is a smart panel and how does it work? Great question. So what's different about this panel, if you look inside and we'll show it to you in a minute, it looks like a traditional panel. It's got breakers just like the breakers you see in your house. The difference is underneath the hood we put a bunch of computer hardware and software that allows us to measure every single circuit in the house very precisely and to turn them all on and off via software. And we think of that much like a platform, sort of like the iPhone itself as a platform. Because now on top of the technology, we can take software and do all kinds of interesting things with it. So for the homeowner, we're giving them very precise measurements on every circuit. How much is their air conditioner really consuming, or their electric dryer, or any appliance in their house? Um, and that helps them drive their behavior and can help them save money or at least understand what their appliances are doing. Beyond that, when you start to pair it with solar and storage, if the grid goes down and they have a battery, we'll automatically shut off circuits that they don't need. So we, we actually can group the circuits into must-have, nice-to-have, and, and non-essential or turn them off. So in a power outage, for example, you might want your refrigerator to stay on, but you might need, not need your electric dryer. You can always go hang up your clothes, and that's a big consumer of, of power. So you wouldn't want to drain your battery on an electric dryer, you want to save it for the refrigerator. And SPAN does this automatically for them. There's a lot of solutions out there that do a small amount of this. They put certain loads in a backup panel or they'll shed big loads. The beauty of SPAN is it gives them control of their entire house. And so by having a smart panel, it really changes the homeowner's views of the solar and storage system they've invested so much money in and increases the peace of mind that they get because the smart panel gives these great software features. When you look beyond that, you know, as I mentioned, we think of it as a platform. When you start to combine with EV charging, you can do really interesting things. You can start to put more and more electric cars on a single panel, and because of us as an energy management system, we're able to turn those off if they start to exceed the capabilities and ratings of the panel. So the homeowner can put two electric cars in on a 200 amp service, and at midnight, uh, on a Tuesday night, they can charge them both at level two plus speeds, 48 amps. And if it's Saturday afternoon, and the house is full, and there's a party, and the lights are on, the ovens are on, the air conditioning's on, we'll automatically shut off those loads to ensure that the house is protected, um, and we'll only charge maybe one of the cars or charge them at slower rates. So it starts to become a lifestyle thing that allows them to get more out of their, their house as we electrify more, with electric cars in particular being a huge driver. In addition, with a panel like this, we're able to do a lot of really interesting things. We're very excited this summer. Coming out this summer is an electric car charger. So a little preview of this, um, we'll have a lot more to talk about in the summer. But when we combine that with SPAN in our app, it's gonna give the homeowner a whole new level of, of, of control and ability to charge, charge during an outage or not an outage, and, and to fill up their panel and charge their cars at the same time. So, so many things you can do and, and so many more to come. Yeah, no, it's, it's really exciting, you know, as I've been covering the space obviously for several years, but really intense for the past year and a half, and this is something that we get a lot of interest in, is, is automatic load control, smart panels, and then again, how do you integrate solar, batteries, and electric vehicles within the modern home? Um, 
Now, guys, when I think of the smart panel here, I, I, two words come to mind, and it's visibility and control. Um, you know, one, having the visibility to understand exactly how energy is being spent within your home. Um, down to the per appliance level or per circuit level. So you don't just see how much is total coming in or going out, but you see how much is coming in, is it coming from the grid, is it coming from solar, is it coming from the battery, and then where is it being consumed within the house so that you as a homeowner can make more intelligent decision about how to spend your, your energy budget, what I would call the energy budget. Um, the second piece is having the control. For example, like you mentioned, in, in, a, in a power outage situation, if you're running off the battery, you don't want to be running everything in the house. You want to make sure you're conserving uh, your energy for the things that have to have power, like your refrigerator, for example, uh, where you don't necessarily need to run the clothes dryer or, or maybe even the electric oven if you're in a backup power mode. Um, so let's, can we open this up here? How, how, do we, how do we achieve that visibility and control? So, so the nice thing about this panel, and again, our engineering did a great job of th some of the little things. It, it, you look, it looks just like a regular electric panel, except there's a few features that are, are super exciting. Just the mere fact that it's lit. So we've all been there trying to figure out a breaker that, that, that flipped and what's going on in the panel. You can walk out and you can see it. If your electrician's working on it, they like it because they can see what's going on. This is a standard feature inside our panel. The door here I'm holding, again, a simple small feature that we did. You can actually reverse it and put it on the other side. So, so many panels open up in an awkward way. They leave you in a tight corner to go work because that was the only way the panel came. So a lot of these things just kind of think the homeowner, we're very homeowner consumer focused in the way we approach this. So the panel goes beyond the traditional, you know, dull gray electric panel and really becomes a thing, a, a, a true appliance is what we like to say. It's very attractive both when it's open and of course when it's closed and you picture this in your garage, it's now something you look at and you're excited that you own and you feel good that you have, as you said, both the insight and the control on your power usage. Taking it a step further then, we do show you exactly how self-sustainable how self -sustainable were you? Were your, was the solar powering your home? What percentage of that uh, was uh, powered by solar? What percent came from the grid? What percent came from the battery? What time of day it was happening? You can change and adjust your, your timing and behavior in order to do things differently. And so now the homeowner gets deep insight to their energy usage, like you were noting, and can take control of that back. And people really appreciate the ability to do that. There's even some really fun features, you know, and the ability to, to take care of your house when you're not home. I call it the uh-oh moment. You're, you're on vacation. We literally had this happen. Customer was uh, on the beach in Florida. They lived in Boston. They had left for in a rush for vacation that morning, and they had forgotten that they had left their oven on that was reheating the night before. It was only 300 degrees, but it would have been on for all night and the next morning. And, and the way that they knew is they opened up their phone, they looked, they said, sure enough, it was drawing power. And so instead of having to call a neighbor and have them you know, unlock the door or break through a window, they simply turned it off on their phone and they felt great. So that peace of mind that, that the solution gives kind of goes above and beyond the deep insights to energy and that feeling that you have deep control into the thing most people care most about their, their house, their home. Yeah, absolutely. You know, and guys, I've been doing solar and battery backup systems for a long time, and up until recently, you had to choose, you know, at the time of install, which circuits are going to be on battery backup and which ones were not. And you don't really have the ability to change that unless you're an electrician. You're going to go in here and actually start, you know, moving wires around. Um, one of the things I like about this product is that, um, let, let's say you're in a prolonged blackout situation, right? And, and normally you wouldn't want to run your clothes dryer during a blackout because it draws a lot of power. You don't really want to drain the battery with it. Well, let's say if the power's been out for a week and you got laundry backing up, maybe you're willing to trade off the air conditioner for the clothes dryer. Because look, I mean, you get all this dirty laundry piled up. I've got five kids, so dirty laundry piles up fast in my home. You know, maybe I'm willing to sacrifice the air conditioner for a couple of hours so I can do a couple loads of laundry and then, and then I can trade it back. So I like being able to do that on the app. So again, you don't have to physically move the wires around. It's just controlled on the app which appliances have access to power and which ones don't. I think the result of this control, and, and you can see it in our software, which won't show up so well in a video, but we encourage people to go look at our free app online. You can download it from the Apple or the Android store and play with it yourselves. But you're absolutely correct. You can move the homeowner long after install can change their mind about what they're going to back up and what they're not with a simple one-touch button. And I think what's so nice about that, to your point, is you can make that decision. For example, if you have an electric car, you may not want to charge that battery all the way up, but you might want to run to the grocery store because the outage is coming or it's going to be on for another day or two. So you can go and turn it on, charge for a certain amount of time, 
turn it off and, and head over to the store and know exactly how much power you used and how much you have left. To your point also, if you've got solar and battery and the, and the grid is charging up at the moment, you might decide that is a good time to run the dryer and you can see exactly the impact of turning that on or off. And so I think what people like, and I think this actually has been really good for the solar plus storage industry, because now when you're selling a solution to the homeowner, you're giving them the complete solution and that control. And interestingly enough, adding a product like Span to a solar plus storage sale simplifies the sale. You no longer have to tell the homeowner, well, you have to choose your backup loads, and if you want to change, an electrician has to come back, or sorry, you, you can never have air conditioning, we're going to shed it all the time, hope it's not a hot day. As a salesperson, this is some of the most difficult conversation. It's very disappointing for the homeowner. Put Span in the mix for a small relative amount to the total solution they're spending for solar and batteries, and now they get all that control, and they're much more happy about the solution, and they're more likely to refer you to their friends. So it's really been good for the industry on, on the sales perspective. And I also like to point out it's also been good on the operations perspective. You know, putting in a main panel is, is no small task. You're going to do some wiring. But a lot of the operations folks at our teams uh, have come to realize the beauty of SPAN is it provides a predictable process. So if they know they have to do a solar and a battery, instead of wondering what the, the critical load panel is going to be in every home's a snowflake, they know they're going to go and upgrade the panel, they're going to put in SPAN, the homeowners can actually understand what they purchased and be happy about it, and the install actually goes a lot smoother and becomes more predictable. So adding this product into the mix um, can actually improve both the sales and operations processes. Excellent, excellent. Now, in, in terms of compatibility, what solar and battery systems can SPAN be used with today? Great question. So, we have two levels of integration. The, the, the deep integration that we have today, specifically with Tesla batteries and with Solar Edge, with either the LG battery or the Solar Edge uh, Energy Bank battery, um, allows the automatic switching on and off of the loads. And we're super excited about that. This is this is the feature where if the grid goes down, we'll immediately turn everything off and put it in those buckets of must have or nice to have or shut it off. But the other side is you can actually use those with any solar system um, in, in the sense that if you had another battery and the grid goes down, the homeowner can still at least go into the app and turn the circuits on and off and have that control and see what's consuming the power. It's not as elegant and automatic as the deeply integrated solutions, um, but it's certainly way better than what they have today and gives them more freedom than, than a backup loads panel. And so I think we're seeing it used across the board. That's great. Now, one of the things that we've been talking a lot on Solar Surge Channel this year is this new um, this new technology for bi-directional electric vehicle charging. And so I know that that's something that's kind of on the roadmap for a lot of the electric vehicle manufacturers of maybe being able to draw from the vehicle battery to power the house during a blackout. Um, how does that fit into SPAN's product, product roadmap? Well, we're super excited about it. I mean, for just from an industry perspective, you know, as I mentioned, we're coming out with our own car charger, um, and, and we're, we just see so much potential in how this is going to continue to evolve our industry. And Span's a great heart of, of the system when you think about a solution like that, because, yeah, you might be pulling off your car, but just like your battery, your car may not be built to power your whole home forever either, despite the really cool F-150 commercials. <laughs> you might want to choose what you're powering. So Span's going to fit very nicely into that. The only caution I make to today that the vehicle to home technology is still pretty early days. We're still kind of waiting to see the standards evolve a little further. The initial solutions out there are, are, are limited but exciting. So we're definitely tracking very closely. We certainly plan to in include these features down the road in our roadmap. Um, our first generation car charger, unless we get really lucky, probably won't have it like every car charger shipping today for the most part. But we are definitely optimistic about how this is going to help and we think Span is going to play a great role in enabling that technology as we get more and more of these products to market today. Great. Well, guys, this has been a presentation of the SPAN Smart Panel. Again, this is for homeowners that want maximum visibility and control over their home's energy situation. Uh, Mark, where, where can folks find the SPAN product today if they want to you know, have that for their home? You know, great question. Thanks for asking. You know, I'm, I'm a big supporter of distribution. We have great partners. CD Green, uh, CD Green Tech embraced us early, and, and we're carried in most of their branches across the country. We just announced and signed with Baywa, who's also been a longtime uh, company I've worked with over the years, um, and, and we're excited about their model as well. So, you know, both of those distributors are stocking and carrying the product, and it's a great way um, to, to get spam quickly and be able to go to market and get it locally from your local distributor.
Great. Well, guys, we'll, we'll make sure that we have links down below where both you can find more information about SPAN as well as uh, some of the distributors that are carrying the SPAN panel. Uh, and I think you're going to see more and more of this, guys. I think this really is the trend, is, is giving the homeowner more visibility and control of the, of the energy situation in their home. And that's why I'm such a fan of solar, is that it gives people more control over their energy situation, and smart panels are a big part of it. Uh, Mark, thank you so much for taking time to chat with us today. Joe, really thanks for having me on. Appreciate the opportunity. And, uh, you know, thanks for uh, having us on your show. Yeah, absolutely. Hey guys, if you're getting good value from the information that we have on Solar Surge, as always, I ask you know please click on that like button, uh, and also consider subscribing to the channel as well if you haven't done so already. Um, our goal here is really to make sure that you, especially if you're a homeowner that's looking at solar options for your home, um, our goal is to make sure that you can make the most informed decision possible. Make sure you're getting the right equipment for your home, something that's really going to meet your needs. Uh, of course, if you're in the process of, of getting solar power quotes, or maybe you already have a quote, you just need to get a comparison to make sure you're getting the right equipment or you're getting a, a good price. Uh, as always, feel free to, to reach out to us on the link below there. And it will just take you to the website where you can set up a short virtual meeting uh, with myself or with one of our experts here, and we can show you some options for your home. Well, folks, I thank you again for sharing some time with Solar Surge today. As always, I'm Joe Ordia, encouraging you to get prepared and be empowered. Thanks for watching, and we'll see you on the next video.